Well, Breaking the Cycle is a forgiveness program that promotes self-respect and respect for others. It's a program to end violence, bullying, and racism. And one of the founders, Johann Christoph Arnold, was an internationally known peacemaker and author of the best-selling book, Why Forgive? Well, today, Arnold's son, Heinrich, joins us right here in the studio. And we're so glad you're here because we want to keep talking about how important this story, this, this program is, actually. But it goes all the, way, all the way back to your dad and New York City detective Stephen McDonald, who we know so well here on Long Island. And just their, uh, first of all, let's talk about their friendship and how this all started with them. Thank you, Colleen. It's, it's a real joy to be here at the Catholic Faith Network to, this morning. Thank you for inviting me. And yet the topic of forgiveness is so important. It always has been important, but particularly in this day and age, there's so much violence, there's so much division. And through faith, through forgiveness, a lot of this can be healed. And my father, Christoph Arnold, was a, a pastor for the Bruderhof Church communities. And he was always interested in the, in the topic of forgiveness. And he decided to collect stories to write a book about forgiveness. And in the process of that, he came across the story of uh, Detective Stephen McDonald and his remarkable story of how he was shot and paralyzed and, and while recovering in the hospital, decided to forgive the perpetrator. So he, uh, he phoned him up or phoned up Patty Ann and, and was invited down to Long Island here and, and spent you know, several visits really talking over the topic of forgiveness. And together they decided to start this program, Breaking the Cycle of Violence to go into schools where they really thought the, 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 the place to have an impact would be with young people, to teach them early on why it's important to forgive, how they can you know, improve their lives through reconciliation, through forgiveness. And they started this program going into schools and uh, it was amazing how the young people responded to that story and then they brought other speakers in as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I actually there was a, a student who's now in college, she saw it in high school mm -hmm. and she came home to her mom and told her how much this impacted her. She went, she just went home like just blown away yeah. by, by the speakers and the message. And so it is hitting kids and it's, it has affected or at least hundreds of thousands of kids around the world have heard this, right? That's right, yes. They, they did some trips internationally as well. They went to Ireland on a journey of, of peace and reconciliation uh, for the conflict there. They traveled to Israel together and met with Palestinians and Jewish people and talked about forgiveness in that difficult circumstance. And then, of course, here in this country, um, including other speakers as well that had been through other difficult life stories, like through the gangs and through mm -hmm. violence and, and found a change, found a conversion. When, so it's a wonderful program. When I talked about your, um, your dad at the beginning, just internationally known as a peacemaker, he marched with Martin Luther King, right? That's right. In, in 1965, he was, I think, about 25 years old. And he was down in uh, Tuskegee and visiting a professor down there. And right at that time, this young man, Jimmy Lee Jackson, was shot and killed in, I think, uh, Marion, Alabama. So he went to uh, Selma, where the funeral was being held, and was uh, one of the few white people um, present at that funeral and met Dr. Martin Luther King and was just so taken by that, his message at that funeral that uh, we should not seek revenge, we should forgive. And this coming together that this forgiveness, this depth, the strength of forgiveness that would solve this deep problem of racism in this country. Mm. So that really impressed him. And uh, throughout his life, he, uh, he brought that message in, as a pastor and really was passionate about bringing people together. Yeah, well, yeah. Break, breaking the cycle is you, different speakers from who've, who've really had horrible things happen in their lives. Exactly, yes. They get up and they share their stories. They do. With the students. They do, and, and you know, through telling a story, often it's much um, easier to, to catch the vision of what's important than just preaching. So if someone shares a story, we can relate, and, and young people particularly uh, relate to stories. So there's, there's many different speakers that uh, have a different angle, like a, a couple that lost a son to suicide and had a difficult time forgiving themselves. Another uh, speaker that was caught up in, in drugs and violence and, and gang lifestyle and was shot and paralyzed, a similar story to, to Detective uh, McDonald in a way, except he was a perpetrator, he was a, a gang member, and he found forgiveness. And uh, another man who uh, had a hard time forgiving his mother, who was an alcoholic, and abused him for many years, and just overcoming that anger and that bitterness. Forgiveness is a strength. You don't do it to uh, help the, the person that you're angry at. You forgive 
to free yourself, to free your heart, and to allow yourself to, to live and to thrive. That's the key thing. It's a strength. It's, it's a tool of strength in life, not, not something you're doing for someone else, really. You're doing it for yourself. Mm -hmm. I think your, your yeah. father really stresses that yeah. in this book, too. It's, uh, for, forgiveness is power. It is. <laughs> you know, power for yourself, power yeah. over anger, over revenge, over hatred. It, it's an important power. It really is. Yeah, it's powerful. A healing power, too. It, it's, it's nothing for sissies. It's, it, takes, it takes strength to forgive, yes. And it's a journey. It never happens, you know, one defining moment. You often have to come back to it. Mm -hmm. you know? it's, it's a difficult thing. It, well, it is. Yeah. That's another thing. It is very hard. Mm -hmm. um, I, when Patty Ann McDonald was here um, a, a few months ago, and that was the first time we got to talk about breaking the cycle, mm -hmm. and she's very honored that you know, you've asked her, or they've asked her to come now and, and, and share Stephen's story. She and Connor are both sharing that, which yes. is so important. Um, and, and Stephen wrote the foreword to your, to your dad's book. That's right, he did. Why yeah. Forgive? And I, there, there's such a powerful line here that hit me. He put, it, I, he put, I needed healing, and found out that the only way forward was with love. I learned the, that one of the most beautiful expressions of love is forgiving. Yes, that's so true. And it just, you know, it mm -hmm. took a while. It's not easy. I have to read one more thing from your dad because when he, he starts the book with cancer, the cancer of bitterness, and he puts mm -hmm. forgiveness is a door to peace and happiness. That's so true. It says it all. It is a small, narrow door and cannot be entered without stooping. It is also hard to find, but no matter how long the search, it can be found. Amen. <laughs> that, that, that says it so well. You know, it is, it takes humility. I think to 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 forgive, and and that's that that smallness about the door, right? It's a narrow door, but it's amazing what it opens. It really is. And I love that yeah. you're reaching so many young people. Like, and as you said, right when we started, yeah. we boy, we we need forgiveness now more than ever. We sure do. Yes, <laughs> and it's it's wonderful that that Patty Ann has the strength to come on herself and and share this story. And I think her son Connor as well is is speaking occasionally. Right. So that's a beautiful thing. We're so yeah. happy, uh, you know, that the, the, that your father and Stephen McDonald's um, message of love, forgiveness, their mission to 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 spread that to so many people is still happening. It's still happening. It's growing. <laughs> it it's is growing. growing. Yes, it is. So it, it yeah. is important. If anybody is, um, you know, interested in finding out breakingthecycle.com, you can find out about the assemblies, which are free. And you can find out how to have the speakers come to your schools or even into some of your communities. Yes, into other organizations exactly. as well. Exactly. Spoken in colleges and schools, community centers, uh, prisons, juvenile delinquent centers. So it's wide open. Such an important message. And, yeah. and everybody gets this book, which, yes. wow, powerful stories in here that you would say, how did, how did they forgive? But they, exactly. they did and they do. So. Irish, thank you so much. It was so nice to meet you, and I really appreciate you coming in today. Well, thank you, Colleen. It's been an honor and a privilege.